sell. Yeah? Tell her to sell. OK, bye. No, I was just saying goodbye. No, hello? The Scion Palm Top Computer is the daddy of all PDAs. It was the world's first mass-produced portable handheld computer. And in an age of big, thick file faxes, it allowed us to dip our toes in the electronic flood that would soon engulf us. Scion began as a British game software company, but that changed over a meal in a Greek taverna. Company founder Dr David Potter and his partners complained that as desktop computers of the time weren't portable, there was no way to carry data around with you. After some sketching on a napkin, the concept of the Scion Palm Top was born. This is the first Scion organiser, and by today's standards, it's pretty basic, offering not much more power than one of those credit card-sized organisers you can now get from the Pound Store. You entered and stored data on these chunky little data packs that clip into the back. And really, in terms of functionality, it wasn't much more useful than a calculator. But remember, this was 1984, and back then, it was considered revolutionary. The organiser, too, was widely used commercially by companies like Marks & Spencer, and over 3,000 were used for benefit calculations by the UK Employment Services Department. It was this, the Scion Series 3, launched in 1991, that was the real winner. Featuring a full QWERTY keyboard, an innovative graphic interface, a great operating system, and a battery life of a staggering 35 hours that took Scion, a small British tech firm, global. This truly was a handheld computer, and in all, 1.5 million of the Series 3 models were sold. Even Bill Gates declared that Scion was the company he worried about most. Eventually, mobile phones became mini computers with the added attraction of connectivity. This sounded the death knell for Scion. But this little thing was the first, and for many, it remains the best. Yes, check out the Financial Times. They're calling me a cult. <laughs> what? Oh. These days, there's only one handheld communications device that any serious businessman, go-getting woman or child entrepreneur would consider having, and that is the utterly amazing BlackBerry. Blackberries are made by a Canadian company called RIM, but their first handsets were little more than two-way pages. It was this handset, the BlackBerry 5820 series, launched in 2002, that really captured the attention of movers and shakers. Other phone companies were busy producing feature-rich PDAs. BlackBerry decided to keep their handset simple, concentrating on what would become their killer application, push email. This offers an always-on email service. Instead of manually logging on to an account to check for messages, your emails are instantly transferred or pushed to your handheld device. And because the BlackBerry is constantly connected to the wireless mobile network, this mail system can always find you. BlackBerry has become a global success story. To date, there have been 58 different models, and by last year, there were over 28 million subscribers. One problem with the BlackBerry was that once you owned one, excuse me, you became obsessed, constantly checking the device for, for new emails. <laughs> this addictive quality earned the device the nickname Crackberry. Hi, how are you? And that addiction even stretches to the White House. No previous serving president has been allowed an email account for security reasons. However, days before his inauguration, Barack Obama's spokesman confirmed... The president has a BlackBerry. Great pictures, gentlemen. Great outfits, I must say. <laughs> However, a few questions about the gadgets. I mean, the Scion, wonderful in its day, but I mean, what's the influence today? It started the concept of PDAs, it was hugely successful. It's a British innovation that spread to the world. And really, I think its influence is obvious. Mm, but to some extent, it's all there in the BlackBerry, and more so, in fact, so much so, that hasn't it simply ruined so many people's lives? It was the start of that never being separated from the office. Ruined people's lives, but beautifully. Whilst other mobile phone companies were trying to jam as many applications into a phone as they could, these guys concentrated on one push email, which is emulated by so many other mobile phones these days. Beautiful. But I've got to choose between them. Ooh, Blackberry, Scion, Zion, Blackberry. Ooh. I think.
think it's got to be the Blackberry because because it's really entered the language. It's a product that's taken the world by storm. It's got to be the winner. It's got to be on the Wall of Fame.